Paul, thank you very much. We'll move forward now to Mr. Anderson and the city clerk. Yes, Mr. President, I think I was put last because I just don't think we're going to be able to get through our presentation in that five or ten minute time frame. Uh, what I've been anxious to do is to bring to you some research that we've put together over the past several months uh, regarding the boards and commissions uh, database. There's a lot of information in the handouts, and you know, we do have a PowerPoint presentation, but I wanted to make sure that you had an opportunity to look at this information because we want to move forward with uh, recruitment, filling that position, uh, and with this uh, clerk's office being down by two positions, um, you know, I, I just thought it was critical that I take this chance and hope that you uh, allow us the opportunity to present this information. Um, we signed off on the request for recruitment form about a month ago. We're working with uh, Carreter and getting the ads put in the paper, and we're hoping that by mid-February we'll have someone in this position. Um, of course, you know, Ida was in the clerk's office and now she's working for a um, new council member, and so her position is vacant. They're both the same title, and they're very critical positions to the office. You know, it's, we have eight positions, and with us down two, uh, that's a major vacancy rate for us. So if, if you will allow us the time to just, and Ms. Um, Bowles has taken the time. She, she took on the initiative to try to put together all this information. And if you would allow us the extra time to hear uh, what we have done, I would appreciate that. Or you can take this information with you, look over it, send us your questions. But I just. <coughs> okay. uh, this is quite a bit of information. This is a wonderful bit of information we need to know. I believe the purpose of today's was to give an overview of the office and key points that you wanted to hit on for council to be aware of which you wanted council to be aware. Uh, this is a phenomenal presentation. It looks like it's a finger through it, but it does seem more for a specific meeting than for a or for its own presentation rather than in addition to what you had already prepared. And I can do that. I can stick to the form of the meeting, um, but I just didn't want to go forward with filling the position without at least giving you some information. So um, you tell me what the pleasure is. All right. So this is crazy. Yeah, I just have, I know that this is an awful lot of work, but we've talked about boards and commissions. Odd nausea. But I think having this information, it might be helpful for these committees to go through the boards and commissions that report to each committee, determine which we said constantly of these committees that we need. If we have 16 vacancies on a committee, is this a committee that we need? Send it to our own committees, and then have the committees make a recommendation back to full council. I think that sounds like a start in our direction. Are there other comments? Yes, Mr. Thank you. Um, I mean, this is this is a lot of good information. What I see, and you said uh, Deborah did this. Yes, Deborah. Well, it was a I'm probably a joint a effort. Everyone, mm -hmm. you know, all of the different uh, boards and commissions have staff assigned to work with them. So it was a collective effort. But Deborah took the lead in collecting all that information and putting it all in a spreadsheet where you can see it at a glance. If you will. But it looks like your office has already fulfilled that position. Boards and commission because I know that you've been doing this since you've been here, and this is this is really really good. I mean, yeah, we've done. I mean, the staff has worked really hard. Um, I just did not want to delay informing you of where we are with the process because this position was authorized to be filled in July, and when I came on board, I made the decision to to do my own assessment to try to get. Um, my hands around the process and make sure I had a clear understanding. We made changes. Um, staff is, is now um, able to 
tell you, you know, exactly what the status is with a lot of certainty. And again, it's reflected in this report. And if we bring, if we are able to fill that administrative position, I think the process is only going to get better. The, the alternative is to continue to move forward the way we have been over the past six months with the individual um, clerks assuming that responsibility. I believe that process has worked. And as we now have a better handle on what's needed, I think they're capable of continuing that process and hopefully providing the, meeting the needs of, of you all as well as the boards and commission. Mr. Trammell, uh, after Mr. Trammell's question, I'm gonna let Mr. Anderson give the, his regular update from the clerk's office. And uh, if you all are interested, I might consider recommending we put this on the February organizational development, give Deborah a chance to go through it, and uh, get us up to speed in the new year. Is that acceptable to everyone? I see head shaking yes. I have a question. Ms. Riegel? But sure. And then, Ms. Trammell, I'm sorry. No, I'll be Riegel. Um, Alvin, uh, what I was going to say, I know that you know, at the time you only had like one, maybe one vacancy, but now that Ida has left, maybe that, you know, your employees in that office are doing such a great job, and we know that money is tight, it's going to be tight for 2013. Maybe if they're already doing this, and I'm not telling you what to do or anything like that, all I'm saying is that maybe we could give them more money because I know that they work so hard in, you know, in, in that office, not only for city council, but for I mean, every citizen that walks in that door, mm -hmm. every one of them is able to handle their needs and their concerns when they come in there. Thank you, Mr. Yes, uh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> relative to your earlier point, I did not, what I heard uh, the clerk say was that he wanted to hire someone for this position in February. And did I hear that correctly? Well, I was trying to lay out what I'm estimating the time frame is going to be. Yes. Um, we haven't advertised yet, so I'm assuming if we are able to approve the ad this week, the ad will go in the paper on Sunday, and the ad will normally run for two weeks, which would put us probably in the third week of January for the applications to <coughs> be closed out at, in HR, and then another week for HR to compile all of the applications and fall into the clerk's office for us to review and set up interviews. So I'm estimating it could take another month. So, was your suggestion going to fit into that, however, if we're going to wait a month before we get feedback and then we get all these applicants and we decide we want to change something, then we've advertised for a position that is going to be tweaked from the way it was originally advertised. I, it, I, I'm getting some rueful looks here from some. Are, are, is that is it, pointing at me? Yes. It was, <laughs> is that, uh, does that make any sense? It just seems I like understand to me that we're, we're lagging the process by waiting another month. And could we, deadlines are always wonderful things. Uh, they focus the mind. If we could maybe look at this at our informal meeting, the second meeting in January or something, I, I'd just. I'd be happy to do that, I, I want to speed this along. If we I'd be happy to do that. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Mr. Clerk, if you'd add this instead to the agenda of the second. Informal meetings in January. Is that what you're asking, Mr. Holden? Yes, it is. Is there any objections to that? Quite clearly. Why the second? If there is an urgency uh, relative to the position, why are we punting to? Well, I'm assuming that, that the agenda is already filled for this meeting the week from today. I might be wrong on that, but if uh, anyone. Ms. Crescent. That's the Mr. reason. President, that I ask a question. When we have this presentation, is it going to be after we, after committees look at this, or we're not going to have committees look at this, we're just going to look at this as a whole and go through every board and commission? I'm just. Well, I'll tell you, I'm not sure I see a need for um, us to have received this presentation prior to the hiring of the boards and commissions person because regardless of our review of this, 
we, I think, all agree that we need a boards and commission liaison. And so, mm -hmm. in, in, in my recommendation, that's why I don't see a need to put it any earlier, but in an effort to uh, work with the other council members, if there is a desire to hear it sooner, I have no objection to that. Okay. It's a consensus, it's the will of council situation. Would you all like to hear it at organizational development or at one of the informal meetings in January? Um, Lou had her hand up and then Ms. Tramp. Well, I'm trying to understand because I'm confused as to what information you're waiting on. As, as um, Councillor Graziano stated, you had this information before you on this position um, for months. You, you vetted the process, so you've agreed. This is, this is a new position that you created um, to do specific tasks, so I'm confused as to why we would delay that process or what you hope to weigh in on relative to the performance in a particular position. Now, what boards, and as um, Councilor Guadiano referenced earlier, what, what boards uh, are active and which ones you may potentially want to look at in terms of whether there could be abolished or changes made, that's a separate issue. But the position is one that you established, that the parameters have already been set for. Yeah, and just to add, you know, there was a report that was done by staff a year ago. I believe the report was dated in February of last year, and the position went through the budget process and was approved, and funding was made available on July 1. And again, when I came on board, you know, I just needed to have some time to get a better understanding of that whole board and commission process and decided to work with staff to collect the data, to clean up our databases, and come up with some recommendations. Because bringing someone on board without having done this homework, I think, may have delayed how effective they would have been. Because a lot of this work would have, would have needed to be done when they when they came on board, had we hired them. Well, Ms. Trammell had the floor after Ms. Brown, then Mr. Hilbert, then Ms. Dougal. The point is, do you need to hear this before Mr. Anderson hires a boards and commissions person? No. And the answer is no. no. So, Mr. Hilbert, to your point, yes. it doesn't matter if we postpone this. It, it does not. And that was the assumption that I thought I had stated earlier, of which it didn't sound like there was any objection to that. So, I apologize that I prolonged this discussion. Um, <laughs> Ms. Trail, does that address any of your no, questions? No, because to me, I think that. Um, by looking at this, he's already established somebody in that office that is doing the boards and the commission. So what you're recommending so is that Deborah put in her application. For <laughs> how much do they? How much is the starting pay for that person that's going to be hired? I don't think they, well, I don't before think we get into personal that, issues yeah. like that, well, I'd like to. He's going to yeah. us. I mean, he's going to advertise it. So he he is. But what, what I think the point is um, that you're very correct in saying that uh, Deborah's done an incredible job assembling. Of a mount of information, and that we applaud her for her work, and that you'd like to see her rewarded for. Is that fair? If that's what she wanted to apply for, and you know, because I mean, this. As long as we follow, as long as we follow the city's procedures for hiring, anyone can apply, including Deborah. I know she's feeling a little uncomfortable in this conversation, so I'd like to move it off of her. But thank you, Ms. Trillin. I think we all voice our praise for this work you've done. If she was to apply for that job, would that be another vacancy in there, or would that? There would still be two vacancies because. Now, um, I did have a list of people there. Mr. Hilbert, are you willing to cede your time? Uh, did you? Have yes, relative thing? to this question, but I will have another question for Ms. Clark. I believe the point has been addressed. Maybe we can proceed okay. with the hiring of the position. It's not contingent upon presentations. So Ms. Rupp, uh, Vice President Rupp. I think, um, thank you, um, there, it has been some time that we reviewed the job description for this position. Um, it may would be wise if we uh, have that job description recirculated to refresh our memories because it, it stands, my understanding is, is that it's, it's a rather extensive job description that goes beyond this is a great analysis of what we currently have, and it's good. It's basic information that we must have. 
I want to commend you for the work that you've done as well as the rest of the team that has participated in making this a reality. Mm -hmm. um, when I think of if we could have the job description circulated again, that would be helpful as well. Yeah, Mr. Anderson, thank you. Karina is working on I have tweaked it a little bit. Um, again, after working in the office for the past six months, um, I've identified some other needs or priorities. Um, we're trying to move the office forward in terms of automation. Um, so we've made some, some um, strides in upgrading our current website. We're looking at other software packages that um, we think would be an improvement to what we have now. It's a collaborative effort. We're working with other city agencies because we think other city agencies would benefit. And um, we've identified, you know, some funding to cover the cost, but in terms of additional skills that I would need in the office, I would need someone who would have some experience, knowledge of uh, maintaining your website. You um, can send us the information. Okay. You don't have to call us about that. Okay. Now, having temporarily dispensed of the boards and commissions positions presentation and status of our boards and commissions, Mr. Anderson, your normal uh, introductory report, please. Yes. Um, in we, we had the orientation for the new members on the 17th. Um, I had a PowerPoint slide, and I'm going to try to make this real brief. Um, we did an overview of our mission. Um, we talked about our org chart. We have eight positions. And again, the reason why I felt this was worth taking the risk of bringing it up is because we have eight positions, and now I have two vacancies. So that's really reduced my staff. And what we've had to do is to assign those duties to the remaining um, staff that's in the office. Uh, we talked about um, you know, assignments and staff that are assigned to the different um, standing committees. Um, we talked about um, how the process works with um, papers being introduced and how they go through um, the approval process and end up on the informal agenda, which is discussed and then move forward to the formal meeting, which is the formal agenda, and then it comes before the, um, the full body. Um, we, of course, provide daily customer service for those folks that walk in, that call in asking for um, information, asking for papers that have been approved or adopted. Um, we answer questions pertaining to boards and commissions and the applications that are being processed. And it's just a two week, it's a two week cycle that we work through where when we complete one council meeting, we start immediately processing those papers, getting them into our um, clerk tracking system and preparing the summary of minutes, preparing the final minutes and sending that information out to everyone to make sure um, they are fully aware of, of the decisions or the actions that were taken at that previous meeting. And then we immediately begin preparing for the next meeting. So it, we have a two-week process where we have to take care of all the business of the clerk's office to present information at the next council. Are there questions for Mr. Oh, was at the end of the room? That's the Are there questions for Mr. Anderson? Mr. President. Mr. Helmer. Okay, thank you. Has anyone turned in their economic interest form? <laughs> no one's turned it in. Okay, then my question is relevant. <laughs> is, it, is it to the clerk? Yes, it okay. is. This form, does, and we're to turn it into the clerk, so I'm assuming that this is the question, an appropriate question for him. There's no jurat, as I call it here on this form. There's no place for the notary to acknowledge the signature. And from what I understand, right, I do this form for my agency, uh, VHDA, that it was done online. So that's no longer a requirement. Am I correct in that yes, assumption? That is correct. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Other questions for Mr. Anderson? Upon seeing none, I thank Mr. Anderson for his presentation. I look forward, I look forward to the uh, vacancies presentation and February's organizational development meeting. We have no staff reports or papers for consideration. Uh, the only thing I wanted to point out for discussion items is what we've already said 
if there are abandoned papers or if there are uh, papers not quite out of the hopper yet that you'd be interested in patroning, please let the clerk's office know so they can add you as a patron. Are there any other items for discussion tonight? Upon seeing nine, council people, I will call this meeting adjourned. Okay, for the record, I'm the first one to turn this in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to say we got to do it at 11.